January 27th, 2025 may go down in history as Deep Seek Day. Deep Seek shaking up global tech. Nvidia yeah. losing nearly $600 billion in market cap today alone. In a few hours, the company broke its own record for the biggest single day loss of market value in history. A handful of other US chip stocks, many trading at 30 times earnings or more, plummeted as well. They dragged down the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100. Even as companies paired some losses later in the week, DeepSeek had sent a message. But DeepSeek turned that on its head, sidestepping the rules by using Nvidia's less performant H800s to build the latest model and showing that the chip export controls were not the chokehold DC intended. They were able to take whatever hardware they were trained on, yeah. but use it way more efficiently. But just who's behind DeepSeek anyway? Despite its breakthrough, very, very little is known about its lab and its founder, Liang Wenfeng. It's not like China is copycat. They're also innovating. We don't know exactly the data that it was trained on, right? Yeah. Even though it's open source, we know some of the ways yeah. and things it was trained on, but not everything. Correct. And there's this idea that it was trained on public ChatGPT outputs, which would mean it just yeah. was copied, but you're saying it goes beyond that. There's real innovation. I, I think Mark Andreessen uh, put it really uh, succinctly and really smartly when he said that this feels like the Sputnik moment for, for the AI race, where <clears throat> China is really stepping in. So not just what it can do, but what it means for American dominance in AI, what it means for the Chinese being able to step in and to have the Chinese actually open sourcing it. And what DeepSeek says it was able to do is create a model that outperforms some of our best models built here in America with those dumbed down chips. But the most downloaded app on your app store right now is DeepSeek, which is currently suffering, they are saying, a attack. So far, all the value was captured by the chip makers, the semi-cap equipment guys, and the LLM companies like OpenAI, Anthropic. And the software guys were really missing out because everyone was like, their margins will be compressed, they have to pay more for chips, pay for this LLM layer. Well, guess what? If the price can come down, and what uh, DeepSeek has shown us is the price per token, price per query can come down drastically, then suddenly the, I think the power goes back to the software guys because now they can incorporate AI in everything they want, in their app, in their you know, website, whatever uh, functionality they have. What DeepSeek has done, or seems to have done, is they've taken this mixture of expert architecture and really blown it out to limits that other people hadn't tried before, at least haven't tried and succeeded at. There are many in the technology sphere, founders, CEOs, venture capitalists who say this is a really good development, that DeepSeek essentially did what OpenAI was supposed to do all along, create an open source model, democratize AI. That's what DeepSeek did. It is so ironic that that came from a Chinese company. Um, I, I think that OpenAI is highly overvalued. I think we just saw their business model sort of blow up yesterday or over the last few days with DeepSeek basically giving away for free what they wanted to charge money for. Um, also, I think that DeepSeek is more open than OpenAI, and that's going to be attractive to talent. And yesterday, NVIDIA called DeepSeek's new model, quote, an excellent AI advancement that complies with U.S technology export controls, and that DeepSeek's work illustrates how new models can be created. Is that this, you know, DeepSeek stuff, in, in a way, sort of validates the, the AI strategy that Meta has been pushing toward this whole time. You know, Mark Zuckerberg has been arguing for more than a year that where this was going was open source, mm -hmm. and that that is where Meta was going to go as well, was to create an open source model that other people could build on. Now, we saw that is what DeepSeek uh, is building as well, so there's obviously more competition for Meta here. Uh, I, th I think what is more key is that we we don't like try to uh, focus all our energy on uh, banning them and stopping them, and just try to outcompete and win. And it makes the winners of the previous era, OpenAI and Microsoft, makes them look like sore losers, accusing DeepSeek of using OpenAI inputs. That is the kettle calling the pot black. Because just like OpenAI trained ChatGPT on internet data, DeepSeek trained its model on updated, we think likely, updated generative AI internet data. So sure, it copied the playbook, but it did so far more efficiently 
and then open sourced it and innovated on top of it. You can see all of this because it's open source and published the research paper, accusing DeepSeek of using OpenAI outputs. Um, again, this is just kind of ironic to hear it from OpenAI. To sum up the new race in one word, distillation, a way to shrink a big AI model into a faster, smaller one while keeping what it learned. There's been reports that DeepSeek is using Huawei chips for inferencing, right? Okay, so this is where it gets complicated, and we got to be really careful here to separate out two different things. There is the DeepSeek app that people are downloading on their phones. Mm -hmm. That app, that data goes straight to China, right? So if you're downloading DeepSeek on your phone, or if you're going to DeepSeek's website and you're typing in a query, that app, that data goes straight to China, that's available to that Chinese company, that is probably available to the Chinese government without any problem. So yes, absolutely, companies should not be allowing their employees to download the Deep Sea app onto their phones. In fact, Howard Lutnick, who is the nominee for Sec Commerce Secretary, is saying in his confirmation hearing that DeepSeek stole things and, quote, broke in. And the FBI are currently studying if DeepSeek used uh, Singapore middlemen to be able to obtain those chips. So this, of course, as we continue to see, really, uh, the upending of expectations in terms of some of the progress that's been made, Sherry, uh, by DeepSeek and how that's really, uh, according to question, the extraordinary valuations that we've seen for chip names for other AI-related names at the moment we're seeing that the White House and the FBI are looking into if they use Singapore middlemen to be able to get the NVIDIA chips. DeepSeek makes an app similar to ChatGPT or Claude. It'll write code, answer questions or script an empathetic breakup text, but it distinguishes itself by articulating its reasoning before responding to a prompt. And what's extraordinary is its apparent quality and low cost. I, I want to ask about some of these second order effects here, not just NVIDIA. You know, if we, if the market adjusts that we can run these top performing AI models for less, to what extent are we also expecting to see a recalibration down the line? So I'm thinking about the data center infrastructure, of course, all the sort of VC and so on investor money that's going in, thinking about energy providers. And what's extraordinary is its apparent quality and low cost and, of course, its seeming appearance out of nowhere. DeepSeek is a Chinese AI startup that was formed in 2023 and spun out of a hedge fund. It was the product of 40-year-old entrepreneur Liang Wenfeng. DeepSeek's focus on efficiency rather than funding meant it could engineer itself into a competitive position, even if it was standing on the shoulders of giants. So to the AI world, DeepSeek wasn't entirely new, but in November, it released a preview of its R1 model. And later that year, we could see that it was actually performing really well against some benchmarks versus some of the more well-known AI models, including OpenAI's. In fact, it ranks among the top performers on a UC Berkeley affiliated leaderboard called Chatbot Arena. In January, DeepSeek hit the big time when its R1 model was made available in an app. It quickly surged to the top of the App Store and it surpassed OpenAI's ChatGPT. The tech industry has been really impressed by DeepSeek. These are AI models that can not just produce text, but can actually develop mathematics skills, coding, and some advanced reasoning that we haven't seen from computers in the past. But what really sent investors over the edge is that DeepSeek revealed it was able to build this model and train it at just a fraction of the cost. Anthropic CEO Dario Amade predicted that it will eventually cost $100 billion to train models compared to $100 million today. Deep Seek, we're told this happened with $6 million in funding. Is that possible? Is that true? But it's also open source. Developers can inspect the code, modify it, and run it on their own servers, even for commercial use. US AI startup Perplexity has already announced DeepSeek can be used uncensored on its platform. DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call. DeepSeek revealed that it was able to outperform the leading US AI companies at only a fraction of the cost. That NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong will be meeting with President Trump today at the White House sometime this afternoon. Uh, the meeting was set up a couple weeks ago, the goal really being for these two leaders to get to know one another. 
topics we are told are going to be uh, including AI policy generally, not related specifically to deep seek. But I was told no doubt deep seek will come up in the discussion uh, around U.S. restrictions on chip sales to China, which, of course, is one of the big open questions following the deep seek revelations and this Chinese app being able to run on older, cheaper NVIDIA GPUs. The other topic up for discussion is the onshoring of chip production in the U.S., at a time uh, where U.S. chipmakers, as we know, are heavily reliant on Taiwan. NVIDIA is now offering DeepSeek for enterprises, calling it a perfect example of test time scaling. And that is an AI system that can adapt and improve its performance on the fly, making it highly useful for AI applications. And on the same day, guys, that Microsoft began probing DeepSeek for improperly using OpenAI data, it also quietly made DeepSeek available on Azure, its cloud computing platform. It was the week that DeepSeek roiled the markets. The Chinese AI startup caused a tech sell-off that sent NVIDIA shares down 11% on the week, Microsoft down 6 But despite the threat it might represent, AI companies are surprisingly embracing that open source model now. Which Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella brought up at the beginning of the week when all of this broke out into the open saying more AI basically means more AI and what Tay's talking about is true at the inference level there could it could require even more compute power